So, pretty exciting day today, guys. I am back at my favorite little bass fishing spot up a river, which I'm not gonna say the name of. And uh, yeah, this is my first time going for bass uh, this season. So we're in uh, early spring. The season opened up uh, probably like two or three weeks ago. I don't know if I'm too early yet. I might be. Um, I don't think like they'll be here in their like sort of full numbers they get up to out this way. But um, hopefully there's a few around and I can actually get onto some. Running my um, Daewa Generation Black Lanka Hunter 2-6 to six kilo bait caster. And on this rod, I'm gonna be putting on a new reel that I bought. This is a Curato 70 MGL. And yeah, I don't think I've caught a fish on this one yet. Oh no, I caught a trout on it actually, when I was at Lake Lyle. I only caught a trout, it hasn't caught a bass yet. And uh, I'm gonna stick on this little jack or pompadour right here. Love these little things, did great on them last season. Um, I'll stick this one on. Uh, this is a micro size, by the way. And just on this rod, I'm running 10 pound braid and uh, eight pound fluorocarbon leader. All right, let's go. All righty, first cast. Didn't go very far, I need to adjust that break. I'm only gonna run the uh, surface lure for a little bit too. So I'm not sure if it's the right way to go just yet. The bass might not be as aggressive as I want him to be. Just got a little flick over there of something busting up. Don't know what it was. Could have been a herring. Having to go with a bug on the surface, which they do do. It's good to see. I Means stuff's on its way back upstream. Uh, I'm gonna move a little bit further downstream and um, I'm just gonna have a go there because if they're on their way upstream and we haven't had much rain and they sort of haven't felt the urge to move up from the rain, they might be sort of stuck behind some rapids. So just around the corner of this rock, um, there's a nice deep little spot where um, the bass often like to sit. Flick out. Yeah this way oh come on just had a strike oh that would have been a bass for sure oh, come on come on that can't be it one good strike all right so i've been flicking around the pompadour for a bit now i'm going to change up to something else you might not be feeling aggressive enough yet to smash stuff off the surface Gonna go with another one of my favorites, a little jackal TN50. Oh, we're getting chased by a little bass. I did like a little tiny baby bass. He was very aggressive. Probably a 10, 15 centimeter bass was having a peck at that. All right, keep moving. Okay, so we are one camera battery down, and I'm also going to um, change up lures. Maybe something quite small and finesse could be the way to go if these fish if these fish are just a bit um, cautious. I'm gonna just gonna try it out. Oh, by the way, this is a um, Daywood Double Clutch 48, I think. It's a very light lure. I'm interested to see how the Curado. 70 handles it might be a bit too light for this for this reel it's probably more the sort of thing you'd throw on a uh, a bfs setup oh yeah there we go there we go oh come on come on buddy come on let's not lose him there we go first bass of the season Wow, lure change was the thing to go for there. All right, all right. Not a very big one. Probably, whew, gonna call that a 25 centimeter fish, but there we go, excellent. And I might have a measuring tape in my little lure bag there, but we'll let him go, I've had him out of the water for a while. See you, buddy. Off he goes. Just belt it off. All right. Small finesse lures, when the fish don't seem to be biting, it's the way to do it. Okay, what I want to do is move a, little, a tiny bit further down. Oh, 
Yeah, there we go. Another one. <laughs> cool. Let's get him on the shore. We've got to put him up here. Up here. Whoa. There we go. Another little fella. This is weird. Early last season, well, probably not this early, I was just getting big bass. But, um, seems to mostly be small ones at the moment, which is, I don't know, hopefully not what it's going to be like all year round. There we go. Another, he's even smaller than the last one. I'm going to give him mm, 23, 25 centimeter fish, I reckon. Let's get him back in the water. See you, buddy. Off he goes. It's good to know that little finesse sort of lure is the way to get them when they're a bit timid. This is not really the rod to be using for that. But anyway. All right, so it is pretty well dark and I I think I have about a 20 minute walk back to the car if I um if I hurry. Yeah, I'm just going to cruise along the bank for a little bit, carrying a torch, looking in the water, seeing what's around here at the moment. And um, I might have a few more casts and then uh, yeah, I'll pack it up and bolt back up to the top of the mountain. Yeah, lots of bugs on the surface, not a shitload of fish around. This particular spot. Just bird nested it because I can't see where the lure's landing. Oh, don't make another knot. Ah, oh, just snapped the line. Bastard. It's all good. There was a um, knot in this line anyway, which was annoying me. Uh, Alright guys, so I just uh, snapped that line off there and I'm not going to go through the effort of uh, tying a new one, so I'm going to head back up. Um, what do we do? We got... Just those two little bass, um, very early in the season. Hopefully we get a bit of rain and the uh, big ones start heading up river. Can't wait until that happens. If that happens, I hope it does. Yeah, good to see that. At least a few are up here now. We also learned today that a little finesse style lure can get the fish um, to be a bit more keen on the bite. I might look into um, investing in a BFS reel and a BFS rod so I can cast those real light lures with a bait caster. It is completely dark and uh, I should probably head home. Probably going to be a pretty short video this one. I'll see you on the next one.